all right guys we're all horse powered up here let's uh see what we're getting into today shall we on an absolutely gorgeous day guys welcome to this episode of a very special episode of rolling with t-ball as we are on this jazz oh, on a just absolutely beautiful morning if you're new here welcome in my name is t-ball and i shoot motorcycle related content and any kind of content really if you are new here i invite you to uh watch this video and then go back and uh, check out a few of my other videos from the past watch them make sure i'm right for you and if you think i am right for you maybe consider giving me a subscribe hit that like button comment share do all that cool stuff if you're over here welcome back you know what's going on so in the timeline today is saturday in the timeline would have been last night friday night uh Church of Will, Moto Bomb Virginia would have been hosting the Church of Will last night. Uh, so that's where we're at in the timeline. I'm on my way to a very special, another special occasion, hopefully, if everything goes good. We shall see, but we shall see. Uh, I know y'all are saying, T-Bone, for someone who's supposed to be taking a break from YouTube, you're putting out a lot of content. Well, I've had a couple of things, like last week's event with the combat veterans. I've had a couple of events just drop in my lap, and I'm thankful for them. Very cool. Very proud to show my support to these uh, to these organizations and their causes. Uh, and I am very proud to uh, I'm very proud to. To be recognized, I guess, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Because at the last week's Combat Vets event, uh, people knew me. They knew what my channel was. They said they watched me. Uh, and guys, I have had no greater thrill than that. And I said that in that video, uh, how great a thrill it was to be recognized by those fine folks. And it kind of made me feel like you know what i was doing as a content creator wasn't wasting time so you know ultimately this is my channel for me it's to put content out for my kids and maybe grandkids someday to see and to take you folks along with me on these uh on these at adventures that i go on uh so i'm not going to do a whole lot of recording between now and then but i did want to touch base on uh Moto Bomb Virginia's uh, live stream he did last night. Uh, great live stream. Of course, he had messaged me earlier and asked me if I could, uh, or commented, and asked me if I could come on to the live stream. And at the time, I, I, it was a very late evening. I, by the time I got home, I just wanted to eat and relax, and I didn't feel much like, I wasn't in a live mood. But <clears throat> I thought it went off great. Uh, you know, there's certain subjects, and this is something I just want to touch on for a minute. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about it because I'm sure Moto Bomb already knows what I'm about to say when I say there are certain subjects. Uh, I noticed a couple of times last night during the live stream. I went back this morning before, you know, I left out of the house. I was up early this morning getting ready to go do what I'm doing today. And I rewatched it. I picked up from where I had left out last night. Uh, There are certain subjects, and and this is for not just the people running the live stream, but for the people on the panel. If you don't know everything about a subject, or you haven't recently updated yourself on what, a, you know, you might want to just, I know this platform is about our opinions on stuff, and when you go live, or when you put these videos out there, you're opening yourself up for you know other people to come in and comment and critique and suggest and that's all very very cool stuff but 
you know make sure you know uh, you know everything that another person is talking about before you go giving you know your your two cents make sure your two cents is actually germane to the situation <laughs> as recycle hooligan would say but i thought it was a great overall uh, live stream about community uh, we have built whether it be the church of will community the duct tape community the uh, rolling with T-Bone crew we, we build a great community and you know some of us are a little more active in that community than others and I was very active at one time but y'all know the situation so I'm not going to rehash all that out but I am planning on doing a live stream uh, maybe before this weekend's over it may be I, I may even jump on live which y'all won't see this till after the fact but yeah I, I thought Moto Mom did a very good job, and I'm sure Sterling will be pleased with the uh, with the episode of Church of Will that Moto Mom done. Uh, there's only a couple that I haven't got to go back and watch. I haven't got to watch. Uh, I think Will Burner Express did one. I haven't got to go back and watch his yet. But I tell you guys, I've just been so busy. And dude, you guys are on top of putting videos out. I'm telling you, everybody is on top of putting videos out, and that is awesome. But for a guy like me who works 40 to 50 a week and still has to try to run his own channel, you know, be the family guy at home, I'm doing, I'm having a hard time keeping up. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, let me get over here to gas up Miss Jadge for today's trip. And y'all just hang tight for one split second and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I have landed in Murphy, North Carolina at the second location for Buckball Brewing. Uh, today is going to be a event for the K9 Cops Association. I think that's the way they worded that. Uh, and it's being put on today by the Nom Knights. So you guys know the drill. I'm going to make my way around, start interviewing some folks, talking to them about what's going on here. And uh, yeah, just have a good time. So you guys hang tight for just a minute. And of course, at this location, guys, they've got a lot more room for sitting. Very nice location here. And again, I have to thank Patrick and Matt, Matt, who runs this location, for just being so cool with rolling with T-Bone and everything that we're trying to do. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this one here in Murphy is at 104 Tennessee Street, S-T-E-D is how you would put it in so if you're murphy you want to have a cool break uh a cool drink come over to buckball broom tell them t-bone sent you all right guys uh outside the location here the van's getting ready to set up so i'll have to be careful where i record and how much i record but they've got a back area here milkman and fender sitting there Very cool little spot. All right, guys, I have met up with Rodeo here, and Rodeo is the first sergeant to arm with the Appalachian chapter of the Nom Knights. Rodeo, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh, appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about y'all's association and what y'all have going on, what the Nom Knights stand for, and what they do. Yeah, so basically, our, uh, our, our club is a uh, military veteran law enforcement club. And, uh, you know, our mission is to kind of support uh, military veterans, law enforcement officers. And uh, uh, so, you know, today we're here in Murphy uh, supporting the uh, Georgia Police Canine Foundation. Yeah, the Georgia Police Canine Foundation, guys. And I looked it up. I did a little bit of research on their foundation and what they do for their canine units. It's kind of like what, you know, you guys do for each other's military. The foundation takes current canine officers and retired canine officers they get them what they need to basically live out the rest of their life and you don't really think about that when you and that's where i was i was having that thought in my head i thought when you think about police officers nine times out of ten you don't think about the canine right right and just how important the canine mm -hmm. unit is to their organization mm -hmm. so but uh if you guys want to reach out to the Nom Knights, do y'all have Facebook? I know y'all have yep. a Facebook page. Yeah, we do. We do Instagram. Have a, yep, we have a Facebook page, and then we do have an Instagram page, both of them for uh, Appalachian Chapter. So. And guys, they're all the time, like you said, they're doing stuff, and that, like, kind of like the combat veterans last week, mm -hmm. 
BK talked about going and doing ramps for yep. veterans and stuff. I'm Absolutely. sure y'all do. Yes, sir. Y'all do mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you want to help any of these organizations, uh, I will try to link them in this video so you can get to their Instagram, Facebook, and listen. You you know, we always talk about the price of a the price of giving twenty dollars. $25. It don't seem like a lot of money. And we know that because we deal with an organization called Forgotten Angels. Mm -hmm. It's basically young men and women who based out of the foster care system. Yep. And the state just, you know, the foster yep. family throws their stuff in a bag and just says, here you go, here's the world, mm -hmm. go live in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, that adds up to big help. I mean, you know, 25 bucks to a lot of times, and I can remember having times in my life where $20 meant whether I would be able to go to work for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. So if you can afford to make that kind of donation, uh, the Nom Knights, all these guys, they would appreciate that. And I'm sure y'all have a way set up for on the website where people can make Absolutely. donations. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. so check out the Nom Knights, the Appalachian chapter. Rodeo Brothers, thank you, thank and I appreciate you. your appreciate service. You being I appreciate here. Thank you. you very much. Uh, I'm just going to make my way around through the crowd Absolutely. and talk to different people. Cool. But we'll be here all day. <laughs> all right, guys. So y'all just sit tight. All right, guys. This is my brother Fender. Uh, Fender is actually a member of our AMR club. He's actually a club brother. But I, we have always wanted to get Fender on camera to talk about <laughs> how he got the name Fender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Fender, brother, the floor is yours. All, all right. Well. well when I first started hanging out with the uh, guys at AMR, I got a, I, uh, got a bike that uh, Milkman and Crack had rebuilt. And y'all seen that bike, it's called Baby. It's the Springer, y'all seen it in episodes of Rolling with T-Bone. Yeah, Baby was, Baby was, I called her Baby because she made me feel sexy and she gave me, I gave her all my money. <laughs> but uh, on our first big trip with her, we were planning to go down to Florida Keys, Key West and turn around and come back. We got as far as Kissimmee and things started falling off of Baby. Actually, the first thing that fell off was down near Cordell, Georgia. We're going 80 miles an hour down, down the interstate, or 75, whatever the speed limit was. That's how we were going. And uh, all of a sudden, the people behind me started smelling smoke, and she started getting all squirrely on me a little bit. I just pulled her over to the side. Uh, my front fender had folded into the front tire and had gotten caught up in the wheel. And uh, people behind me dodging pieces of burning metal and whatnot. <laughs> We, we got we got as far as Kissimmee before we had to turn around and come back and uh, we just called that little trip baby's tantrum and, uh, <laughs> since I didn't die first part that fell off became my new name he was forever fender <laughs> guys I'll tell you what it, it takes a special kind of voodoo queen and I'm, a, I'm constantly <laughs> it takes a special kind of voodoo queen to be able to damn a man so bad that the front fender on his motorcycle will actually crinkle up and try to kill him so i just told him recently you need to go find whatever chick in the past you did wrong that practices voodoo and maybe kiss and make up I, I, <laughs> fender thanks brother all right appreciate y'all keep an eye out for fender he he's he pops up randomly in episodes of rolling with t-bone if you go back four videos five videos uh he was with me and r1 and he was on baby and we were riding that was when we went to uh we went out 60 towards such as so y'all go find that video but just hang tight guys we got a lot more stuff coming your way all right guys i'm here with the star of the show big guy you know he's been the star of the rolling t-bone with t-bone channel coming up so thought i'd get a shot with the lady here all right guys i'm here with chad fowler and chad what's the name of y'all's band sound check sound check they're going to be playing here today uh for the K9 Foundation's uh, benefit that they're doing today. Chad, where can people find y'all out on social media? Um, on social media, we're on Facebook. So um, you can find us on there right now and everything. So uh, we play, we're kind of local. Uh, we play around in like the Kaysville, Copper Basin area, um, the Blue Ridge area, kind of around in there. Murphy, right. obviously Murphy today. So yeah, yeah. like to play at the breweries around town, Copper Hill Brewery, uh, Buck Ball Brewery and all that. We're really good friends with everybody. And when do y'all do your sets the most? Like this is a special occasion. Do y'all like a Friday night set? No, Saturday? actually it's it's a lot of special occasions that we do. We do a lot of benefits, um, you know, a lot of charities and things like that. And then okay. also sometimes on like Friday or Saturday evenings and stuff like yeah, that, okay. you know, when okay. they have get togethers, cornhole tournaments and stuff like that. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Well y'all go to Facebook.com, soundcheck Check, check these guys out. Tell them T-Bone sent you. And uh, listen to them jam out a little bit. Thank you very I much. Appreciate you, All right, T-Bone. Appreciate it, brother. All right, man. Thank y'all.
Put my cell phone. Alright guys, before the music kicks off and I have to start being careful what I record. No, I'm not just set up. And these I'm assuming are their door prizes. Very cool. They've got it. Helmets up for wind, boots up for wind, billfold. They've got a very cool D Walk angle grinder. White leather ladies jacket. Very cool, guys. Very cool. So, in case you guys didn't realize, I did run off and leave the external microphone again today. But the internal on the GoPro did good last time, so I'm hoping for the same result this time. Last time, there wasn't a whole lot of motorcycles at the uh, other event. We've got a great looking trike, tri glide. I'm looking at one of them for the future, guys. Of course, we've got a Triumph Tiger. Got a Suzuki B Strong. And this is the Trans Out, the Honda's Trans Out, guys. These are good looking bikes right here. I like this Honda Trans Out. These are very beautiful bikes. And that's a 750. And it looks like that I might actually, actually could flat foot that bike. Then we got a Heritage Soft Tail. Good looking bike there. Two into one. Vance and Hines. Street Glide. Then we got Baby. Of course, Milkman rides Baby now. Baby's got a new fender. And of course, Baby is sitting right up against Jazz. Jazz out here glistening and shining. Good looking little Screaming Eagle Sportster. You know, we love our Sportsters. And Road Glides, got a couple of Road Glides. And then we got uh, a Slim. This is a soft tail Slim. It's got the Milwaukee. Then we got Fender's bike. Just a soft tail standard. So yeah. Then there's a, uh, I think this is a wide glide down here. Yep, wide glide. I love this blame job. Silver with the blue flames. So yeah. Guys, anytime you get a chance to go out and you can support something like this, I mean, we got the platform to do it so you know i i'm thankful that i was able to come out today and do this that these folks invited me out same as they did last time nom nights uh i see the nom nights around our area all the time but i'll be remiss if i didn't get the indian sweet little indian But that's our community, guys. That's what I was saying about our community. We, uh, we're we always doing something to help people out here. Bikers, uh, we have a great community. And I still, I've said it before, I've said it in other videos, and I said it in this video. I feel like that our community, the motorcycle community, gives more than any other community. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna move on around here just a little bit. We got some of the members of the Nom Knights over here working. Of course, you got rodeo, which y'all met rodeo a minute ago, and we've got old school. Old school. Nice to meet you, brother. And we got Bud. Hey, Bud. Nice yes, to meet you, brother. This is my son, Josh. Josh, nice to meet you. Prospect Here's my Brandon. designated prospect, driver. Brandon. Prospect, Brandon. prospect. I've seen two prospects yep, out here. Yeah. Now the one with the long hair seems to be the one doing all the work. Our prospect, Brandon. Just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> no, maybe not. That might have been a bad answer. Yeah, that might have been. No, that might have been. That I'm going to get out of here at <laughs> yeah. three o'clock. Yeah. That yeah. might have moved at six o'clock. <laughs> answer right there. <laughs> All right, guys. That's the second location. This is Matt. Uh, Matt runs the Murphy location of Buckball. Yep. Matt, I appreciate you letting me come. No, thank, you, thank you, man. Thank you. 
y'all have just social media for this location because I found it on Facebook. I will try to link all that stuff in the description. Uh, this video will be out next, this coming Thursday. Okay. Uh, rolling with T-Bone on Perfect. YouTube. Yeah. But, uh, follow, baby. Matt, I appreciate y'all uh, yeah, letting sure. us come in, do this recording, support these guys. Yep. You know, not everything is monetary. Exactly. But, no. That's but, what it's uh, about, baby. It's I support, appreciate support that. Support people, man. Yeah, absolutely. Especially small businesses yeah. that are homegrown. Yeah. You know, I remember when Patrick opened this, that yeah. one in yeah. Caseville. So. Uh, yeah. But, all right, man. I Perfect, appreciate man. you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm here with Kyle from yes, the Georgia Police Canine Foundation. Kyle, tell us a little bit about your foundation and what exactly it is you do with canine. All right, so we're a nonprofit organization and we assist active and retired law enforcement canines throughout the state of Georgia, and that can be from providing protective vests all the way up to medical care when they're retired. Okay, so you guys are basically, are you like involved from like the beginning of the the canine's career right so if a uh, canine is need, if in need of any assistance uh, during their career we're definitely going to step in and help the agency because funding may not be right for the agency at the time and then when they retire there is no retirement program usually set up by the agency so we'll right. help with medical bills or anything okay i got you so you take them out after they retire whatever they need and right then, i That's guess right. maybe find homes for them, have um, most, of, them yeah, most of the time the handlers will take them but then if the handler needs some financial assistance with gotcha. the canines when they're retired we'll help them out and how long has your foundation been around we've been around since 2016. 16 okay yes, guys i'm going to try to uh get everything linked here but again, this is another one of those organizations, and I'm sure through your website, you're mm -hmm. set up to where people can come in, make monetary donations. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and again, it goes back to what we've been talking about, what the theme of these last two few videos have been is, you may not think 25, 30 bucks is a lot of money, but when you take that in and you got several people who are willing to donate that kind of money, it adds up quick. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Kyle, I appreciate you yes, talking sir. to me, Thank brother. I know y'all are busy and yeah. I'm, I just kind of try to be a fly on the wall oh, doing this good. stuff. But y'all go check out the Georgia Police Canine Foundation and uh, drop them a comment and tell them T-Bone sent you. All right, guys. My time at the uh, <coughs> Nom Nights event for the Georgia Police Canine Foundation is coming to an end, unfortunately. Uh, they're about to kick off the music, so I'm not going to be able to record a whole lot anyway. And I am kind of on a time crunch just a little bit today, but I appreciate you guys coming in, watching this, and checking it out. And remember to go support these causes, guys. We're not I'm not just putting this out of here for the sake of content. I want you guys to go check these guys out and throw some support behind them because, you know, that's kind of, we always talk about it, that's what our community is. So uh, from Kyle to rodeo to everybody else but uh tell you what guys i'm getting ready to get back on the road rodeo y'all i appreciate y'all very much remember to check this out check out all the links give these guys some love and hey i will catch y'all back on the road here in just a second all right guys we're out of here uh man i have to give a special thanks to the nom knights and to book ball brewing for inviting rolling with t-bone crew out Showing us some love, uh, like it made us feel like we were right at home. Good looking Trans Am right there. But uh, I was kind of on a time limit today, time schedule. Their event goes to six o'clock, but I just didn't have that kind of time today because I didn't find out about this event until the event last week for the combat vets. But the, you know, the Georgia Canine Association, uh, being a nonprofit, this is another one of those things that you know they appreciate the help when they get it. But I tell you what, guys, I've got a ton of footage to edit to get this video together. This is a special Thursday episode of Rolling with T-Bone. So if you're new here, like I said, go check us out. Check out some of the other footage, videos. And if you like what you see, consider giving us a subscribe. Uh, as of right now, guys, I will say this. This actually ends the special episode of Rolling with T-Bone right now because we have moved into Rolling with T-Bone Presents. The crypt is in North America. But like always, guys, y'all remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Hit that notification bell so you know uh, t every time the Rolling with T-Bone crew is uh, live. And guys, I'll tell you what, till next time, y'all take care of yourselves.
take care of each other and hey thanks for watching